like once I discovered that they were actually purposefully trying to be deceptive there's a lot of examples of this in watchtowers but this one like happened right in front of me it wasn't a past article it was like a current article that I had been reading it's way back when now it was July 2017 but it was literally a propaganda article that said protect yourself from propaganda watch out for propaganda here's how we're gonna help you do that the paragraph said keep in mind that Satan does not want you to think clearly or reason things out well. Why? Because propaganda is likely to be most effective, says one source, if people, dot, 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 are discouraged from thinking critically. Media and society in the 20th century. So never be content passively or blindly to accept what you hear. Use your God-given thinking abilities and power of reason to make the truth your own. Okay, but remember the ellipsis, the dot, dot, dot? What, what are they leaving out there, okay? So they quoted media and society in the 20th century. And I went out and bought the book. Watchtower said, propaganda is likely to be most effective if people are discouraged from thinking critically. Here's what it says. Propaganda is likely to be most effective if people do not have access to multiple sources of information. And. And if they are discouraged from thinking critically. Michael Balfour has suggested that the best touchstone for distinguishing propaganda from science is whether a plurality of sources of information and of interpretations is being discouraged or fostered. Wait a second. What does Watchtower always say? What? Yeah, don't need to, you don't need to do the research because you're already done it for you. So right there, they are literally quoting from the book putting this into their article about guarding against propaganda and it itself is propaganda yeah. to tell your people only listen to us. Yeah. That was insane to me. To me, that was the most blatant act of deception. And after that, it was like every single thing they said after that was just lies after lies. Right. Because if they can't be simply truthful about this, how can we believe anything else that they say? A story that is only 10% true is 100% misleading. 